Hello, my people of God. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good morning. The person, the place you have, we bless you mightily. I bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you mightily in the name of Jesus. I bless God, my people of God. I thank God for making us to see a day like this, a wonderful and a precious day in our life. Hallelujah to the Most High God. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I thank you. Father, you are wonderful. You are great, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. My people of God, before we start, please, let's pray. Let's close our eyes and pray. Amen. Almighty God, eternal Father, righteous Father, Holy Father, Lord, I am here again, O oh Lord, to study your word on your feet, O oh Lord. My Father, my Lord, may I not speak on my own understanding in the name of Jesus. I disappear that day you appear. Father, speak out of me. Let this word change your people, O oh Lord. Holy Ghost, speak out of me. I know nothing to speak about. This word I'm going to speak. May I not speak on my own understanding. I disappear and you appear. Father, take over me, Lord. Rule over me, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I cover this broadcast with the precious blood of Jesus. I cover everyone. I cover myself. I cover my house. I cover my children with the precious blood of Jesus. But I soak my love and everyone love here with the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah, my people of God. God bless you all. Amen. I thank God for his goodness. I thank God for making us to see a day like this. Our God is so wonderful, my people of God. And I bless God for your love and my love. The Lord is faithful. He's good. Let's know that all the days of our life, we need to serve God. We need to worship God. We need to honor Him. We need to reference Him. We need to fear Him. That is why we are here on this earth. We are here on this earth. I call to Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 12. Verse 5. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 5. He said, We are here for this, this, this life. It's for us to fulfill the will of God, for us to do the will of God, for us to fear God. That is why we are here. No matter the activities on the earth, no matter the things of this world, never forget to put your trust on God. Never forget the things of God. Never forget the things of the kingdom of God because the things of the kingdom of God is number one. When you put God first, God will help you. That is why it's very important. Seek God first. Put God first. Don't because you are blessed today, you have the whole world, you are living without God, you are, you are without the Lord God Almighty, without Jesus Christ, you are nothing. You are in darkness. You don't have anything. So anyone that have the whole world, that hold the whole world, what shall you profit a man to gain his whole, the whole world and lose his also nothing. So if anyone that love the whole world have no Jesus Christ, it's love, it's don't have love. It's nothing. It's empty. Empty verse is nothing. So you that know you, that have time for God, you are blessed. There's a blessing that attached to you. And I pray that God Almighty will help us all to continue to scrap. We are all scrapping to work to perfection, to that heavenly, that heaven. We are going to heaven. All of us, we are going to heaven. We are. That is why. We are here on this earth to fear God, to serve God. And though not only heaven, but God Almighty is the one that created us, our maker. We need to fear him, number one. We need to put him in first. When you serve God well with your whole heart, with your whole mind, with your whole soul, with your whole spirit, with your body, heaven is for you. You will make heaven. That is our last game. That is our last goal. That is our last place we are going. We have to go to heaven. Heaven is made for the children of God. So my people of God, what am I trying to say today? Never let the things of this world forsake you your job whatsoever you are doing before you say no this is too hard for it's too much i cannot no you continue to serve god you continue to it's god that give you that strength that things that you are doing whatsoever activities that you are doing on this earth god is the one that give you the strength so you have to ask the lord to strengthen you to empower you to overcome the things around you i pray may god help us all in jesus name amen god bless you thank you jesus thank you lord my people of god remember i was reading second uh, first john Chapter 2, I was talking about love, not the world, neither the taste of the world. That is why I start like this. The other six activities we are doing on this set, the taste of the world, you are, are not supposed to love the world. I'm reading verse 17 now. Uh, second John, first John chapter 2. Verse 17. He said, And the world passeth away. Just my people of world. The things of this world will pass away. The world passeth away. The world passeth away. But and the loss and the loss thereof. Yes, everything that is on this earth will pass away. The loss of the loss that of this earth. This says the world is too beautiful. It's so wonderful. I cannot know. People love the things of the world because of their because of the beauty. So it will pass away. Hallelujah. The things of this world will pass away. He said, 
the loss thereof will pass away. All the loss of the elder sins will pass away. After death is judgment. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27. After death is judgment. All those sins we are fighting for. People, fighting for doing. People are fighting for. It will pass away. When death takes place or all rush up take place. It is over. You will not take anything to, to, to anywhere. So you need to save your soul. You need to feed your soul. You need to help your soul. You need to let your soul know. Help your soul so that your soul will make heaven. Your, your body, your flesh will, will live here. But your soul is the one that is going to stand on the judgment day. So I pray may God help us in Jesus' name. Say, but he that doeth the will of God abided forever. Hallelujah. He that doeth the will of God. You and I do the will of God. It abides forever. Eternal, eternity. Everlasting, you that do the will of God, you that have bad, that do uh, the will of God, that do the things of God, that seek for the things of God, that hunger for the things of God, that hunger for holiness and righteousness, that said, No, I must serve God with all my heart, I must love God, I must do the will of God. No matter, no matter the circumstances, God is my number one, God is my all. Those people, we have the, the word of God say they will abide forever. Hallelujah. You can see that the things of this world, look at this very powerful verses, verse of say, and the world. What, say, and he said, and the world passed away, and the loss of their of the loss of their of this building, this mansion, this I'm not the Bible, no, the, the, the world is beautiful, but it's, the Bible says we pass away. All those things will pass away, but those that do the will of God, those that do the things of God, they will abide forever. They will see the Lord. They will make heaven. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah! I pray may that be your portion and be my portion in the name of Jesus. May it be our family portion to see the Lord at the last day, to see heaven, to see the King of kings, to see our maker. The reason why we are on this earth, the reason why we are breathing on this earth, on the last day we see him. I pray may God give us this grace to hand where, to do where in the name of Jesus Christ. We will not hand it halfway. Our family, our loved one will not hand it halfway. I also pray for the body of Christ, the church of God. I pray may God continue to strengthen hope of power death. They will not hand it after all Christians must make heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray so in Jesus' name. God bless you all. My people of God, this is a just short message for us, all of us. I pray that God will continue to help us and strengthen us to follow him, to do his will. And remember, Jesus Christ hates sin. He's coming soon. Let's prepare. Let's examine ourselves. Let's walk fast and know. Let God open our eyes to see our hero. Let's walk with holiness and righteousness. Let's live a perfect life. Without holiness, you cannot see God. Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Our Father said we should be perfect. Our Heavenly Father said we should be perfect. At this is perfect. As God is perfect, we can be perfect because his righteousness is in us. He is righteous. We are his children. So we need to work through perfection. If it cannot be possible, the Lord will not give it to us. So people of God, let's listen and run from sin and hate sin. And I pray may God deliver us from sin in the name of Jesus. God bless you all, my people of God. Shalom. Thank you, my Heavenly Father. I bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Bye-bye. Thank you.